three different puppets to portray Simba throughout the show. Uh, the first one we use is at the top of the show during a circle of life when uh, Simba is still a baby and he's presented to all the, um, all the animals. So we use this little guy. Um, he is made out of a, a plastisote foam, which is kind of a hard foam. And then we cover him in uh, like a jersey material and then glue. And then once he's all dry, then there's a, a paint job on him. Um, so when he's at the top of the rock, when he's being presented to, the, to all the animals, he's also animated by Rafiki. Um, so she holds him like this. She can animate the top arms by just waggling her own fingers. Um, and then there's two rods, levers and pulleys. One does one leg and the head spins, and the other one does the other leg. So once he's, um, he's all going, he's quite, quite a little animated guy. So that's him, and then he's, uh, he's a cub. This is operated by a dancer, and uh, he holds it up. This back rod takes the, um, takes the weight of the puppet. The front is on a stick here that can animate the head, so he can look up and down and around. And then there's also a trigger uh, uh, that, that makes his legs go, so he can skip along the grass. And then another way he's portrayed in the show is through shadow puppets. So with this guy, this is actually operated by five people. There's two guys that actually hold the weight of the puppet, and then another two that do the legs. So there's also triggers here. There's a, a, a nod here, and also another for the tail. And then a final fifth person is at the back with a, with a bright torch that projects the, the image onto the cloth.